Steve Zock here at the Traction Reaction Podcast. And joining us today, it is from Chip Ganassi Racing, Alex Blau. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for having me. This is pretty cool. I mean, you're here, you're at Indianapolis, you have a, a mishap. Doesn't doesn't matter to you. You go out and finish second. How, how do you put that? Is that something where Mike Hall and the guys tell you, hey, you got this, or confidence in the team? How how does how does a young driver like you succeed at Indianapolis like you did? We were close to to winning that race, but um, yeah, it was super fun. It was a good result for the team. And to be honest, I I had a really fast car during all 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 those two weeks that we were in Indy uh, during the the pre practice, during qualifying, and during the race. I felt super comfortable, and we were just there. Uh, we started P six, and we were. Uh, managing the race, managing our fuel, our strategy. And, and as soon as it was around lap 100 or so, um, we decided to try and go for the lead and, and try and be up there. Um, so I think it's been a work that we've been doing since the beginning of the season, even if we were not at Indy, but all the, all the confidence that the team gave me, um, the knowledge that I got from Scott, Tony, um, Dario, and and all the team, all the engineers, uh, it it worked out. So we had a really good day, to be honest. There's days that everything goes right, and that was uh, one of those days for me. And we had uh, the best pit stops. Like we were um, after five pit stops, we were the fastest team, uh, mm-hmm. which that's amazing. We had really good strategy. We were lucky with the yellow. So everything worked out. Um, and then we we were battling with uh, one of the best. Um, at the at the work and and that was with Elio, which was really close uh, was uh, a bummer to to lose but um, it's always great to be able to to fight for that race yeah you know rick mears had a great battle with gordon johncock back in the day and he he says you know i was a younger driver maybe a few years later i would have maybe played it a little differently and i'm sure you in the future you maybe at late at night be thinking Oh, maybe if I would have tried this or moved the car, so it may haunt you. But you know the the success you're having, I'm sure. I'm sure you you you'll be able to get to victory lane. Uh, an interesting uh, background that you have from GP3, you moved over to uh, Japan, then you come over to the US. Is there one moment that kind of sticks out for you on your way uh, when you're coming up the racing ladder that says, "Hey, I think I can do this"? Well, so I had. To- um, I started in the family. I had nobody that was racing before. So we were uh, figuring, it, figuring it out every day. Like we were going to, I remember the first time we went out of Spain for a race in go-karting mm-hmm. and it was like, wow, we're going to the European championship. Like that's a big deal. And then to the world championship. Um, I think I had some tough moments, but we were always a bit lucky and we always had somebody that was supporting me and that was helping me to go one more step. But um, I remember after my second year in GP3, uh, we had a bad year and, and we didn't really have the seat for, for I think it was 2017. So I was a bit, um, obviously I was not happy. I was a bit sad that I thought that my racing career was over, but um, suddenly I got a call from Japan. That's why I went and raced there in, in F3. And since then, I think everything went super smooth. Um, racing in Japan, having support from Honda, and then uh, having them um, allowing me to race here in the US, uh, making my dream come true, racing in IndyCar. And, and last year, um, at the end of the year, I got the call from Chip, and, and now we're here driving the number 10 entity data car, which is like, you cannot ask for anything better and also alongside Scott Dixon, right? Like um, yeah. one thing is to be part of a great team, but if you also have a part of the best team, you have um, the best teammate you can ask for with lots of experience. He's still on the highest level um, and winning. That's that's just an amazing opportunity I got. Um, coming up on uh, June 18th to 20th, of course, you got the Rev, uh, Rev Group Grand Prix at Road America. And they, they say Road America is the most like a European track with some of the European tracks with your background in that. Uh, what's your opinion or how, how do you like Road America as a racetrack? I love it. I love it because it was my first podium on, in IndyCar last year. Uh, it was super special. And yeah, I would say it's really European type of, of race, of racetrack, but I think it's more difficult because we don't have runoff. The runoff is green. So as soon as you're off, you're off. Um, So um, I think in Europe, all the 
racetracks that they go now, they have really big uh, runoff that they can just drive around and, and that's it. You can just do another lap and Road to America is not like that. Um, it's super tough. It's super long. You have big braking, super high speed corners, which makes it super interesting and, and really good passing opportunities, which that's like what we need and, and what mm -hmm. IndyCar and fans need. So I love that track. It's my favorite track. I think it's also my favorite track just because I got my first podium there. Uh, and that was, uh, that was, that made it so special, but, um, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a win there. What's the biggest surprise you've had living, uh, you're living in the Indianapolis area, I'm assuming. Uh, what's the biggest surprise living in Indianapolis? Because I can tell you, I've spent a lot of time in Indianapolis and uh, you're, you're lucky to be living there now because they're going through a bit of a renaissance. The, the restaurants and everything weren't the, always the best there in, in Indianapolis in the, in, the, in the years past. But is there something living there where, where you go, I didn't know they had this or this kind of surprises me? Well, I got more surprises last year. Living, I was living in Austin last year, um, and 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 obviously my first year in in America was like, wow, like everything is so big, and mm -hmm. and you have to drive so far, and the the way that people, uh, the culture, it's it's it just it amazed me. I, I love it. It was always uh, something I wanted to. To, to I wanted to live here. I didn't know if I could race here, but I knew I, I was going to live here at some point. So um, nothing that stands out uh, here in Indy. I'm having a good time. The, the winter is really cold, which we don't have that in Spain. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. It was super special leaving my first real month of May. I know it's it was just like 40%, but um, going on the streets and people just uh, asking us for photos. That was, that was amazing. What do you do for fun? For fun? I race. I race for okay. fun. I practice on the simulator for fun and I go to work for fun. So I'm just okay. no having fun all golfing, day. No hobbies like that. No. Yeah. So I, I'm really bad at sports and I tried to, go, <laughs> to golf last year. I, got to some lessons I said okay I'm gonna have something so when people ask me what do you do I can sure. say no I play golf no I'm really bad at it I cannot <laughs> I, I am really bad at sports so um it's good that motorsport it's working out so I can keep doing it but uh yeah that's the only thing all right last question here talking to Alex Pala on the Traction Reaction podcast have you had a Road America bratwurst yet no okay I, I, I have would to yeah, you have to have one. They're fantastic. It's a sausage. It's it's German. It's Road America. Everybody has one. Uh, maybe Chip might tell you to say have it after the race, maybe as a celebration. Yeah, that's not a problem. We can yeah. have it as a celebration. You got to try it. You got to try it. So I Okay. Think like Is it. there a special place I should go? Any any of the play, any of the vendors there have it. So Got it. Awesome. And, and I'll have it. I'm sure. And, and, and Dixie will help you too find one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll have it for sure. So we got to have a good and, race. And, so. and ask Dario. Uh, there's a Dario? place. There's, yeah. Ask Dario about how much fun he's had at Seepkins in the past. So okay, he'll tell I'll us ask him. stories. Yeah. <laughs> so we, won't, we won't mention him here, but uh, yeah, he, he's had a good time up there. So Alex, thank you so much. Best of luck thank this you. weekend in Detroit too. We'll, we'll talk to you again in the future. Yeah, thank you so much once again, Steve, for having me. And yeah, I'll see you again soon. All right, take care, buddy. Thank you. Thank you.